Okay. Then let's go to another type of amplifier, transconductance, right? So again, for I say this is transconductance. Why? Because the input is voltage and the output is current. Okay, look at this. This is a very simple circuit. What, what we call it? What type of amplifier is this? Someone say current source, uh, but current source, we have a constant uh, gate voltage. But this is not a trick, right? It just, you can see it's a common source. Do you say common source? Okay, sorry, I heard current source. So you're right, it's common source, right? This is MOS. This is source, this is drink, right? But how is it different from the common source we usually see? Yeah, the output is current, right? So we probably may grind it to a very small output impedance, right? I mean, very small uh, input impedance in the next stage, then that you don't care about this RD. But anyway, what is the gain of this circuit? The gain must be GM, right? And what is the definition of GM? I out over V in. That's the transconductance, right? Of course, you want to say, oh, by that definitely you want to ground the output, but let's just look at here. No matter what it is, just, uh, the gain is I out divided by V in. Why is I out divided by V in in this circuit? Can you relate them to the current and voltage of this transistor? What is I out for this trans? How is related to the current in this transistor? No, uh, so I mean to the current or voltage just a name, someone say what, I what? ID, it's just ID, right? So yeah, sometimes my question is not clear, but that's what I want to say, ID. How about we in? Relate to a voltage or current in this transistor, VGS, right? What is ID divided by VGS? I repeated many times in this class. Little GM. This is the transconductance of the transistor. So turn out this circuit, which is a very simple circuit, has its gain equals to the transconductance of the transistor. And that's it. So simple. It's so simple. Right? I hope that you can see this. Right? A transistor is I change the gate voltage, it changes the current drain current. Now, because the drink is kind of grounded by definition, when I find the GM, then it's just equal to the little GM. The transconductance of this circuit just equal to the small GM, right? So based on, then that is good. Okay, then let's uh, look at the, so it's, uh, this is easy for the gain. This is the gain, remember? This is the gain. Now let's look at the input and output impedance. Where's the out in for this circuit? Where's the out in of this circuit? I know it's there. <laughs> Infinite because it's connected to the gate, right? Where's the out out of this circuit? Yeah, I wanted to know, know, know how to find it. Why it is out zero? Someone tell me. You're looking at the drink and what else? With channel length modulation, uh, but what is the definition of R out? No, 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 no. <laughs> R out. You already get it. I, I'm asking you the definition. I just want to challenge you uh, instead of, right. It is what? R out equals to? V out divided by 
I mean, how do you measure the impedance? Huh? Say? I in. Out, out. I out. When? So I just want to remind you, you get this because we have derived this using small signal before, not because you like that, right? So the output impedance is out, out because we ground the input. If this were not grounded, I cannot say that. Yeah? So that's why it's out, out. Not because I look into the drain. I try to make the bar higher, right? Not because, just because I look into the drain. It's because of this definition, I need to ground the input. That's it. Okay? For an ideal transconductance amplifier, what should be the R in? Infinite because it is a voltage sensor. And it is a voltage or current source in the output current source. So you want to have a infinite output impedance also, right? So is this a good transconductance amplifier? Yeah, so it's good because ours is large. Okay, a quiz. No score though. If I want to make it even better, how would you do it so that I have even larger output impedance? for transconductance amplifier. You can add more transistor, but a very simple one. What would you, what would you do? Another resistor parallel? Then what will happen to the resistance if it is parallel? Yeah. And then, if parallel doesn't work? Okay, you can put... Yeah, so you think about series, uh, your expectation is low, I just hope to double, and then you found that there's no source degeneration, right? And then can you give a better name instead of source degeneration? What, what amplifier is that? Because you... Oh, okay, I see what you say. He was thinking about this. He said, let me make a resistor here. Then I have a larger output impedance, right? But what happened to the gain of this circuit? Source degeneration transconductance is not one. It is GM divided by one plus GMRS. No, output is still here. We still oh, get the output from no. here. Yeah? This one, yeah, you increase the R out to R out times one plus G M R S. Wonderful. You have a have a better output impedance. But now your G M becomes G M divided by one plus G M R S because this source with degeneration, right? So it's just like you're sacrificing your gain to get a high R out, out. It's just like here. You put a smaller R D, sacrifice your gain to have a smaller R out, right? So, yes, right. And then we decided to use Casco, and that is what you, some of you, probably suggesting to put two transistor in series. But we need to be careful. This is V in, and this is the constant bias, right? And now the GM is still small GM, but the R out becomes, what is that? Okay, so the, but what is that? R out times, let's say, uh, yeah, I just make a simple one. Okay, I simplify it. Yeah, one plus R out GM, right? Uh, uh, is that okay? I mean, this is something we can test in the final also. Why not? Right? But um, so think about this, right? Uh, do not treat this class as a bore. It is boring actually, <laughs> as of some uh, boring circuit exercise. Right? Think about a little bit more. Once you know how to find the gain, find this thing. Ask yourself, 
can I do something to keep the gain but make the R out better? Or I let's say I have margin, I can reduce the R outs. Can I increase the gain do, do, by doing something? Actually, you can, right? Because uh, because I have some time, let's just continue. If I say my R outs is too large, what can I do to reduce it? And then I can benefit my gain, which is GF. Then you can say maybe I can just reduce the uh, transistor length. That's one thing, right? Or you look at this, R out equal to what? Lambda ID. What if I reduce the, I increase the bias? Then R out reduce. Then what happened to GM? Increase the, increase the bias, increase ID. What happened to GM? Increase GM. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if you really do the research, right, like, uh, or do a project, you, do, you see that analog circuit is easy. The difficult part is to find the trade off. And those who are guru compared to us who are not that experienced, it's just that we cannot see the trade off as much or as good as them. That's the only difference. They are using the same set of equation. And I don't think they can do calculation faster than you. And you guys are younger, really, right? You can memorize a lot of equation better than them. Yeah, really. Okay.